what we need to establish in our country is to provide every person with the human right of food, shelter, education, health care. And these are demands. These are not um, ideals. This is going to happen eventually. It might take 50 to 100 years. But people like Bezos and Zuckerberg, their money is going to be stripped away from them. I mean, not them personally. I'm talking about in 50 to 100 years as a thinker. This is a warning. This is a prophecy. Not a prophecy. I'm not saying I'm uh, tapping into anything. I'm just saying based on the education and based on how reality is pretty much whatever's going on right now is the memory before it. So I don't want to mention anything about revolution or violence or anything about the today because it's illegal. It's pointless. I get five views. Even if I wanted to incite a nonviolent revolution, I'm not Bernie Sanders. I I can't get away with it. I'm not getting it. I don't have a big enough audience. I don't deserve that big an audience. I admit it. But I continue. And what did I want to say? What I'm saying is that this guy... His username is like some type of drug. For It's some type of hallucinogenic. We have no real name on this guy because I think it's about 10 people. It's a unit. It's like 20 people, 50 people. They're non-disclosure agreements. And even if you tapped into this information and got proof, how are you going to spread that information? Say Umbrella Man is Jacob Peterson. How are you going to get that across? Say the guy from Redacted Tonight is the uh, agent provocateur, a, a call for an uprising. What if they're the same guy and you can prove it? No one's going to find out. How many people support Julian Assange? And what's the imagery of support for Julian Assange? There's a disconnect. Millions and millions support Julian Assange. Anyone who knows about him supports him. There's no one who's against Julian Assange. There's no one who's really supporting cops. I mean, a little bit. I'll support the cops a little bit. I'm not violent. But this is bullshit. The cops brought this on their own. There's no way to fix things. They're not allowing democracy to fix things. If you have some cops on steroids, they need to be fired and put in prison. That's bullshit that they're saying that other guy was Umbrella Man. No freaking way it was. Prove it or shut up. Arrest that guy or shut up. So um, I'm sort of losing my temper, and that's what the Internet does. It's why I try to not visit Daily Mail. My best days are when I don't go to any websites. I just go for music. I do my own thing, I live my own life, I breathe, whatever. I watch Krishnamurti or Alan Watts, one of those. Um, I've Oh, thank you to a subscriber out there, I think his name's Anarchy Now. There are a few people who subscribe to me that I'm able to see who they are. Otherwise, uh, I don't mind all these other people who subscribe and I'm not able to know who they are. If I knew who you were, um, I might subscribe back. But um, this one guy, I think his name's Anarchy Now, and uh, there's a playlist on his website. I'll put the link in the description. It's, uh, it's a pretty good movie on anarchy. I'm nonviolent, so I would like to... Uh, and I think anarchists are not necessarily violent, because I feel like an anar a nonviolent anarchist. I'm anti-authority think it's rubbish. We all know authority is rubbish. But anyway, I'm going way off the uh, point here. You can probably see how, uh, I, why I wanted to be a teacher. For that stuff, you get a whole year to go through material and um, get to know the students and they get to know you and uh, there's give and take. 